Hello, in this video we are going to see what is SRE, what are the key terms and terminologies of SRE, what are the key principles or tenets in SRE and it should be a comprehensive start for any beginner on SRE. So site is the software component including the hardware where it has been deployed. Uh, in the context of SRE, site typically refers to web service application or a system and it also encompasses all components, infrastructure and dependencies which are required to deliver specific functionality. So software components along with the hardware where the software has been hosted is a site. Reliability, it is a very known concept when we talk about cars or we talk about our friend, we can say he or she is not reliable if in case she is not able to help us in time of need given a specific condition that you are also not betraying the friend. So same is the concept of reliability in SRE as well. Reliability refers to the consistency and dependability of a system, process or product to perform its intended function. And note under a specific condition. In simpler terms, reliability is about whether something can be trusted to work correctly or consistently when needed. As an example, when you purchase a car, you expect it to work without any failures for given years, given mileage when meeting specific conditions. Specific conditions can be routine maintenance which is required for the car. Now what is engineering? Software engineering is a discipline that involves application of engineering principles to design, develop, test, deploy and maintain the software systems. So whatever we do for creating the software along with the deployment and operations of the software, those principles are the engineering principles. It encompasses a systematic and disciplined approach to the entire software development life cycle with the focus on producing high quality, reliable and efficient software solutions to meet specific requirements and user needs. So coming to the SRE, SRE has its origins in Google. The creator trainer created the idea and famously described it as what happens when you ask software engineer to design operations function. So what is the operation function? The deployment, the maintenance, the config management, incident management, all these functions post the software has been built and it is in operation, it is in use. Those operations is known as software operations for a software. So if you apply software engineering practices, uh, so instead of doing the mundane work, if you apply automation, if you apply scripting, if you reduce the toil, so all those principles of software engineering when applied to operations is called as SRE. That was the initial intent of this. Uh, so essentially applying the software engineering principles to operations to enhance the reliability of software systems is SRE. SRE focuses on achieving and maintaining reliable systems. Now these terminologies which we are going to discuss, they are very important and you should be knowing what exactly they mean. Golden signals. So four golden signals are there and they indicate a service's health and reliability. These signals help SRE team monitor and understand the overall performance and user experience of a service. So with these four signals, you can know whether the service is performing good, bad, worse, those kind of details you would be able to know. So latency, latency as you know how much time it takes for a request to be processed. So you send a request, you get a response and it takes two seconds. Ideally, a API response should be in milliseconds, probably a 300 or 200 millisecond. But if it takes a seconds to respond, then this is a, a very slow system and uh, the usability of this application is not good. So high latency can lead to poor user experience and can be indicative of performance issues or bottlenecks within the system. Traffic. When we are making API calls or when we are connecting to another system for getting some data, when you get the website or you call the APIs, you may be getting images, videos, data, uh, some kind of files. All those things are basically traffic. And this is not only this data, this is also the volume of requests which are handled. So uh, traffic refers to the volume of requests which are handled by service over a specific period of time. 
and monitoring traffic helps SRE team to understand the load on the system and can provide insights into usage patterns, trends and potential spikes in demand. So you can notice that during a festive season, there may be a lot of load on a e-commerce site. So that is a traffic and this golden signal will indicate that you may have to scale up your service if you have to meet the demand of festive season. So traffic would help you scale up your uh, servers to meet the traffic demands. Errors as we know any failure is called error. Errors represent the rate of failed or erroneous requests encountered by a service and we need to monitor to identify issue, diagnose problems and assess the impact on users. Higher error rates indicate bugs, infrastructure problems or service degradation. The last one is saturation. Saturation refers to the level of resource utilization within the system. So for example, your CPU is always 100%. That means it's already saturated. You may have to scale up your uh, workload, uh, meaning the machines which you are there, probably you have to horizontally scale. You have to have the service uh, in two different uh, machines, hosted in two different machines or two different functions. Uh, so some scaling you would be required either it's a vertical or a horizontal scaling memory disk network ban bandwidth all these uh, uh, can be checked for saturation monitoring saturation helps SRE team to identify potential bottlenecks or capacity constraints that could impact the performance and reliability keeping saturation level within acceptable thresholds is essential for optimal system operation. So if you measure these four things, you are able to measure and gain insights into the overall health and performance of a service, identify potential issues and areas of improvement and take proactive measures to maintain reliability and meet SLOs. What are SLOs? We are going to see in a bit. Now we would go through some concepts which are used to define, measure and manage the reliability and performance of services. Let's go through them one by one service level agreement so service level agreement as you you can see it's an agreement so it's a legally bound agreement between service provider and the customer let's say you have taken an account in a brokerage uh, firm wherein you are able to do stock trading and if in case the site is always down it would be a problem for you so thereby the sla comes that the uptime of the system should be 99.9 percent .9%. so that's a legally bound agreement and that is what is a SLA. An SLA is a formal agreement between service provider and its customers that outlines the expected level of service in terms of reliability, availability, performance and other relevant matrices. SLAs de also define the consequence of failing to meet the agreed upon service level. So for example, if the vendor is not able to meet the SLA, there may be some penalties for the vendor. So the company or the vendor which is providing the service, they will be defining the objectives and objectives would be little more stringent than the agreement so that we are always within the SLAs. SLOs are derived from SLA but are more granular and focused on internal operational goals rather than contractual commitments to the customers. And they are also measuring the same thing which are being measured by SLAs. SLOs are used by service provider to set internal targets and benchmark for service reliability and performance and you have to quote internal targets this is internal not meant for the the party where you are selling these services and indicator the service indicator would indicate how your service is doing right now so sli is a quantitative measure or metric that is used to assess the performance or reliability of the service now there are some failure matrices which we should be aware of let's see it with this diagram so up indicates the system was up, down indicates the system was down, repair is the repairing process where we investigate what is the problem and fix the issue. So MTTF mean time to failure from up to down, how much time it takes average time that is MTTF. Mean time to repair is once the system has become down, it has failed to repair it and make it up again. What is the average time it takes that is mean time to repair mean time between failures is once the system is down again the next occurrence of a failure where the system becomes down again how much time average time it takes that is mean time between failures so other important terms blaze blameless postmortem so what is blameless postmortem so if there is any retrospection which we have to do we have to analyze why something failed we have to do 
with a purpose in mind and the purpose is the focus on learning and improvement rather than assigning blame or pointing fingers at individuals or team so that is blameless post mortem it's a structured and collaborative analysis conducted after an incident or outage with the goal of understanding what happened why it happened and how to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future toil refers to repetitive and manual operation task that are necessary to keep the system running but do not provide long term value so you keep on doing something and it does not provide long term value for example you may have to manually monitor some matrices and send a report to some official or executive this is like a manual work which can be very easily automated it is sucking up the energy and the time and it is not providing any benefit long term benefits uh so that's that's what it is mentioned here toil is characterized by its repetitive nature low cognitive value and tendency to consume significant amount of time and resources without contributing to the improvement of overall system error budgets so error budget is a concept that is used to balance reliability and innovation so we cannot have a system which is always up and running 100% up and running there is a acceptable downtime which is there and that is what is the error budget so it represents the amount of acceptable downtime or errors that a service can experience within a given time period without violating its slo error budgets are closely related to service level objectives and used to align engineering and operation team around the common goals and priorities so if we aim for 100% system uptime we will be wasting lot of money and resources rather we have to work on the slos that uh, that define how much uptime is required and this is a balance and trade off which we can arrive at with the help of error budgets now the key tenets of sre monitoring slo release engineering simplicity embracing risk toil automation so these are the key tenets let's go through one by one embracing risk no system is perfect and failures will occur SRE acknowledges this and emphasizes managing risk through techniques like error budgets. Service level objectives we have already seen that they are quantifiable targets that define the desired performance of a service. Toil elimination very important we already read about this we have to minimize manual repetitive tasks which are also called toil and they drain the productivity. Automation is a key weapon in this fight. Monitoring constant vigil of how the systems have been running that is monitoring automation uh, automation is a central pillar automation means whatever we are doing manually they can be done using code so for example deployment scaling incident response all these things can be automated release engineering safe and efficient deployment is crucial sre establishes processes for smooth and reliable releases minimizing downtime and regressions and last one is simplicity complex systems are harder to manage and maintain SRE strives for simplicity in design and architecture promoting reliability and maintainability these are the reference books you can go through them thank you very much